how's it going everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030 and today I thought I'd bring you all a discussion video talking about Ghostbusters World, an AR game that came out back in October 2018. Unfortunately, it is scheduled to close its maintenance this Thursday by the time this video. I know this news is old, but I thought I'll be able to bring you all about this game and showing appreciation. So when we're doing this video, I'm going to tell you everything you know about it, get my thoughts on it, etc. But first, before we get into it, I do want to mention that if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a chance to win a special giveaway. If you're new and not familiar with it, if my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to rent pick one winner to not only receive a fresh new Nintendo Switch, both copy of your choice, Pokemon, Sword, or Shield. More details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to check it out. How much your roots go by sharing with your friends and family from you or real pressure at they appreciate it. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so let's first talk about Ghostbusters World. It's a clone version of Pokemon Go. It has similar mechanics but really differences. So the neat thing about this one is that instead of you going after Pokemon, you hunt ghosts. You use them to build a battle in a PvP battles, use them to build a complete and certain storylines. There are times you are able to fight, fight against certain ghosts. Another thing is that with the raid battle mechanic, you're able to battle with other players. But however, you can solo it alone, but you do need some pretty powerful equipment, which we'll get to in a second. Other thing is that I like you're able to work your way towards in the uh, Gorse Tower. I like you're able to compete in this like element ghosts and build some neat rewards. I like you're able to see some certain costumes you're able to wear from not only the movies, but also video games, like on and on. So it has the neat mechanics and stuff, but there are a couple issues. So let's first go over the positive, then we'll go over to the negative. The things I like about this game is that I like the, the idea that you're able to team up with other players. I like you're able to battle and get yourself similar ghosts from the movies or kind of ones that you like. I like that you're able to get some neat rewards from not only in like uh, seasonal tournaments, but also battle against uh, certain ghosts. And I like that you're able to uh, do uh, hunting for like certain ghosts that are pretty rare and they actually end up being like really good in certain ones. Now to get into the negative. The issues I have with this game are the following. First off, with these raid battles here, you do need to be able to have a certain amount of shards in order to unlock this certain ghost. So if you do not have enough, then you pretty much can't unlock it. So same thing if you can find certain, a specific ghost that you can find not only has like a red aura or a yellow aura, which, like I said, you do need shards enough to build and unlock it. There are times that with red shards, you can just automatically just get it it's health low enough to build it and capture it. If you don't catch it, then you do have to like battle again, which you, it could be more powerful, and you have to try again to build and capture it, which it can take you several tries to build and do it. Other thing is that there are bug issues. What I mean by that is there are times your avatar character do stuff, and times that the map doesn't look right. There are times that you're battling against a a ghost or what kind of thing doesn't look right. Another thing is that it is a pay to win. So like you have to pay a certain amount of money to build to do upgrade your items to build to do a lot of damage to certain ghosts. So if the creator of Ghostbusters World is watching this video, the thing I can say is thank you so much for allowing me to play this game. Thank you so much for everything you did and looking forward to other stuff in the near future. That's pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The purpose video is to let you know about Ghostbusters World. I told you about it, I gave thoughts on it, and etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything covered here. Did you like the game? Did you not like it? Were you hoping to be instead? Let me know, they appreciate it. Hope you all did enjoy today's video and watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give you a thumbs up, check my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos, and I will see you all in the next video.